Oh, yeah. the, the one behind us. Oh, we're live. <laughs> you want me to turn the lights Actually, on? don't worry. It's fine. It doesn't matter. I don't know if we if it makes it any better. Are we less sort of silhouetted now? I, I don't so. know. I don't know. Try it with it back on again. No. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hi guys. How you doing? I've got my glasses on there. I never realised that until I get here and I can't read it. Do you want to go and get your glasses? No, I can't be bothered. I just, can can I you not read the chat? Not very well. It's, go and grab your glasses. It's go on. Okay. Anyway, welcome, welcome to our regular Sunday hangout waffle chat about stuff. Um, <laughs> it's just if, spinning right? What? But, did you turn into Kylie then? <laughs> I wish. So we're just fiddling with our um, mic. <laughs> um, yeah. I was going to say it, but I won't. If you're what? if you're new to the channel welcome uh my name is nick and this is my wife andrea Hello. we are resellers we buy and sell pretty much whatever we can get our hands on that we can make money on uh we do this full time it's how we earn our living and it has been for the last 16 years in one form or another and our youtube channel is just sharing what we do and simple as that and simple on a sunday so. we just come on and waffle at you yeah. But we have stuff to share. I was reading in the chat just before we went live. We don't have any special news to share. In the title, the stuff is just stuff that we've bought. Literally stuff. Yeah. You've bought quite a lot of it. We went to a jumble. Again, how many jumbles have we found recently? Um, is this our fourth or fifth? I'm not sure. Like four or five in the last month. Yeah. It's been epic. I think it might be the fourth. So we have stuff, as in things, to show you. Yeah, I don't really. Mainly you do. I filled up the car and Andrea bought like three things or <laughs> yeah. four things. I bought three things to resell. Let me just see if I can scroll back. There's loads of chat been going on before we went live. So welcome. Thank you so much for taking your time out to join us. First mm -hmm. in was Lucy T and then there was John. Um, John says, well, Lucy, you beat Peter to the top spot. Yeah, Peter's normally the early bird. Um then we've got Bumcrack Picker. Welcome, Stephen Bennett. Uh, there's Peter. Hi, mate. Gary Brown, Elaine. Uh, there was a bit of talk about anyone has any good sales um, and how have sales been this week. For us, it's been up and down, hasn't it? Yeah. We had some really bad days yeah. and some pretty good days we've today. We've had a very good day today. Today, we've just had a few really nice sales come in. It's mm. not been massive in numbers. We're about 250 now i think but just literally just before we went live do you want to share those now who remembers these from a few weeks back most of the chat were in agreement that these were ugly as hell so andrea you love these don't you i do what did they just sell for they just sold for 40 pounds 40 pounds with shipping on no i don't think they'd have shipping maybe on. free shipping so, yeah, goes to show, fugly shoes, it's the way forward. Let me get the chat to the end, see what people are saying. I'm sorry if I've missed a load of chat. There was so much going on. There's a question quickly there. The Hillsman says, question, is that a seal soldier at the back behind you? Seal soldier? I don't even know what one of them is. <laughs> Probably seal? not then. <laughs> Probably not, because we don't know what you're talking about. No. Seal soldier? Don't know what that is. Anyway, so yeah, that was a nice little sale. Oh, Lex says, well done on the shoes. Thank you. Yeah, I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, so. that was that was cool. Heather loved the just, shoes. Yeah. See, you and Heather, oh, maybe yeah. the only two. Oh. <laughs> some no, there's three because somebody paid 40 pounds for them. There's three people well, exactly. that like them. So, you know, even if you don't like the style of the shoes, I'm sure you like the sale. <laughs> just so people can remember what make they're red it? or dead oh red or dead but so, they're yeah. vintage red or dead so nice designer yeah. brand isn't that the guy who's the guy who does red or dead it's um... yeah he's bald isn't he um yeah he's in margate <laughs> oh what's his name that's I gonna bug remember. me let's know so in the somebody chat somebody will tell us there's a there's a really cool bloke yeah he's like a cockney isn't he he's a londoner he's a londoner yeah oh damn it what's his name people yeah, i'm sure someone will know i can see him he's got glasses bald head yeah. yeah, someone's going to tell us. Someone's going to tell us. Wayne, Wayne Hemingway. Hemingway. <laughs> yes, Adrian. Yes, thank you. Thanks for that. Yeah. They're 90s grunge, reckons Heather. Well, yeah. 
that's probably why i like them <laughs> i don't care they've sold that's all i'm bothered about get them out of the house yeah, absolutely I very nearly kept them, so I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't now. Oh, Brenko's not a fan. Who buys ugly shoes for £40? Pounds? I need glasses. You're the one who needs glasses. I can't read the chat. <laughs> I'm struggling. It's all a bit bled. Do you want to go and get your glasses? No, I'm all right. Okay. I've got a really tickly throat. I've been sorting out all the junk we bought at the jumble sale. The air is just thick with dust in here. Also, I hoovered in, hoovered in here, which virtually never happens. <laughs> So my allergies have come up, my nose is running, my eyes are streaming. Does it mean it's like a month of Sundays or something because you've hoovered in here? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, can't remember the last time I hoovered in here. No. But it was, it was a mess. So, yeah, we've got clean. Can you do the living room next? Please? Yeah, I'll do the living room after, <laughs> honest. Um, yeah, look how clean the floor is. Happy days. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something then. You were going to say, yes, dear, I'm, I'm going to help you and hoover the whole house for you. Was I? Yeah. Just some sort of Jedi mind trick going on. <laughs> um. Anyway, maybe, maybe we'll see. Oh, I can't keep up with the chat. Um, we're all having a good nose at Nick's stock. Oh, yeah. There's there's all sorts. These um I picked up in a supermarket clearance deal. Um, I'm thinking they're going on eBay. Um, it's the sort of thing I like to send to Amazon, but that's probably eBay. There are these you've probably seen these before. Little pepper pig houses. I think there's only one figure. They were also clearing all the little figures, but I didn't think there was a lot of money in them, so I just bought the houses. I just um some yeah, Sam Wildman said you could sell you guys could sell bacon to Peppa Pig if you tried. <laughs> I do like a challenge. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, oh, a lot. What I was going to say was, along with sales, it's been a very erratic week. Um, but our car mats. Somebody said earlier, "How long is it until I talk about car parts?" Not very long. The uh, all the car mats arrived at Habu, which is the firm we're working with. Um, they're an eBay fulfillment firm. They arrived there. I don't know. I think they got booked in Wednesday or Thursday. And the, the car mats have started selling. Mm. So that was nice because they're big and bulky and a pain to pack. And we don't have to now. I do have a few left down there that we yeah. still got in stock here. But about 80% of them went to Hubu. Mm. And we sold two lots today at £40 a pack. So that was cool. Okay. Should we start sharing stuff? Um, I'm just going to get to the end. So if we've question on nick's left shoulder my left shoulder depends which way you're looking whether it might be that way pepper pigs i don't know what's the question <laughs> i don't know try again hillsman we will answer your question at some point tonight um oh hi here how are you doing um, I don't know if Mia Cameron Ali is in, a regular contributor to the chats. Um, just to let you know, your Cluedo bits that you needed are on their way. Well, they will be on Monday. Monday? Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Um, Today's Sunday, yeah. Airplane. Right, we'll quickly answer that and then we'll start sharing junk because we know that's what you're here for. Um airplane says could you please make a video on how to find out where jumble sales are i once asked you before and you said that you go to very few but you're going to one every week it's, it's not just always been by chance isn't it yeah. we've literally been in a queue for a jumble sale and somebody said oh you're going to so-and-so jumble sale and on this date and they were going oh no i didn't know that was on and made a note of it so yes um it's just by chance a lot of it is getting to know people actually how we mm. found the recent ones we chat to a lovely lady called janice yeah um who was at the one we went to uh yesterday yeah and she lets us know when things are going on we we try and be social in the queue with uh, as I'm much as we social. can <laughs> Yeah, we're not the most social people all the time, are we? Um, but that's a great way. And if you if you find a jumble sale, ask the organisers if they I did a post on our blog about all of this, actually. So click the link below to our blog. Thank you so much for the support recently on the blog. We've had loads of views. The Stephen Steph post was well received. Mm. That had loads of views. So thanks yeah. to Stephen Steph as well for doing that. Yeah. Um, yeah, get to know the or speak to the organisers. Quite often these jumble sales are regular. We go to one that's four times a year or three times a year don't we yeah the one we went to yesterday is annual apparently 
yeah it's the first time we've ever been to that we yeah hadn't heard of that one before and it's actually two of the ladies from what the queue from one of our regular ones yeah. was running it so two resellers we see everywhere yeah were running or helping to run this one it was quite weird we turned up you'll see I, i'm gonna make a vlog about it we turned up and there was a like three or four trestle tables set up outside the hall. It looked like a um, car boot sale, didn't it? It did a bit, yeah. We were there an hour early. I like me and Ali's in the chat. Oh, hi, me. Oh, I super chatted. You didn't have to give me any money for them. I said to you on the message, but thank you so much. It is appreciated. I will ship those out tomorrow. Um, yeah, let me know if you need anything else. Thank you so much for the super chat. You really didn't have to do that. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, we turned up oh, yeah. and, and there was a table set out in the car park. Yeah, and we thought they were just going to say, I'm sorry, we're, we're, we're an hour early. So we thought they were going to say, oh, no, we're just setting up. You can't, you know, buy anything just yet. But they'd done it on purpose, hadn't they? So that you, because they had so much stuff that they needed to um, sort of try and shift some stuff, um, you know, early, I guess. So it was like an overflow into yeah, the car it park. Was, and it overflowed out the back. And that's well. where we met these two ladies that we see at other jumble sales and car boot sales. They're resellers themselves. So we thought yeah. there's going to be nothing good left because they've been well, here all day. I reckon they might have had all the good clothes and shoes. Clothes and shoes they're into quite a lot. Because <laughs> there wasn't much that was that great there. <laughs> but it was a good move because we were in the queue and slowly the queue built up with all other resellers. And we were all just buying stuff from this yeah. overflow and the table. people were making requests and they were going in and finding stuff like there was a woman that was mad on uh, mickey mouse and she's also another regular that we see at different jumbles that chats to them and stuff and she collects mickey mouse and they were like going in and going oh hang on there's a mickey mouse and going off and finding it and, yeah it was bizarre and, yeah but it, it was lethal for me because I just kept rummaging and rummaging and before we'd even got through the door of this jumble cell I had bought a stack of stuff so yeah so we start... and I went to actually go and sit in the car because there was only Janice and her husband that were queuing at that point and I thought oh, I'm, I'm aching from all the walking but I don't know I don't really want to stand around for an hour so <laughs> so yeah I went and sat in the car and you just kept coming back and opening the boot and putting more stuff in <laughs> Andrew was trying to have a cheeky snooze and I'm like <laughs> Opening the back of the mini and piling it in, putting the seats yeah. down. And get... then getting grumpy of me. Are you coming out? Are you coming out? I thought you might like to have a rummage. Anyway, well, I so. I did to begin with, but there wasn't anything that interested me. So. Oh, there's a super chat. Claire and Leah resells has super chatted two pounds. Thank oh, you it's so Claire much. And, and it's Leah and Claire tonight. So, hi, guys. Ah, hi okay. Girls. Hi, guys. Hi, girls. How are you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate yeah. that. Um, so anyway, like I said, before we'd even got through the doors, I had bought, there was a box that contained a load of electronic, like kitchen gadgets. I showed some interest. They were really trying to sell stuff, weren't they? They were like, are you interested? Oh, um, Adam Give me says, 50p or whatever. For us Americans, what is a jumble sale? It's a bit like a rummage sale. Is that yeah, what it is? I it's think... like they hold it in like um, scout huts or church halls or village halls and it's just like lots of tables full of stuff that you can yeah. they sort of separate it out. So you have clothes on one table, general junk on another table, books, you know. Um, yeah, they tend to be. And, yeah, it tends to be a charity run thing. They get a yeah. load of stuff donated by all the members of their charity or the local area or whatever. Mm. And then prices tend to be really cheap because they just want to get rid of it because they're stuck with this stuff at the end. I mean, we've run some for guides that, yeah. that Andrea helps to run. And the trouble is you get left with a load of gear at the end if you can't sell it. So prices are get rid. And that's mm -hmm. what I was just saying, that the ladies on the stalls that were outside were just, I showed some interest in this box and it's got, well, I'll show you, a load of kitchen uh, <laughs> electronics. Peter Cummins says... And they virtually gave it away. Peter Cummins says general junk, technical term. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> it's in the reseller's dictionary. <laughs> what did I buy this box for? Do you remember? I think it was a was it one pound or it might have been two i don't know i remember it being for what it is ridiculously cheap they were giving us almost giving stuff away they were oh, like 50p was, this 50p that 10p it was crazy so in the box that i bought i think it was it might have been two pounds i can't remember now off the top of my head there was a smoothie maker it's not worth big money 15 tops uh i think it's a kenwood which always helps yes it is a kenwood yeah so do you want to grab that for a sec be your glamorous assistant you'd be the glamorous assistant 
there was a juicer very much like the one we used to have. This has a name on it, which I don't think adds a lot of value. It is a Jack Lalan. For Lalane. Anybody? Is that a chef or something? Jack Lalan? Uh, power juicer worth 20 quid on a good day. So not big money. And a little Breville. Um, what's well, got a dent there? Is it a little dent? That's annoying. Mm. Little, uh, what do you call it? Slow cooker. Is that a dent or is it? No, it's oh, not. it's a screw. Okay. Yeah. Which is worth not a lot. Um, I just wanted to read out but. Charlotte's little thing before it disappears. She yep. says, finally, I'll speak, finally self employed as of this tax year and now reselling. Your videos get me more excited now. Keep up the fantastic work. You deserve the best. Thank you, Charlotte. And so do you. And I've been keeping up with your posts in the chat chat. And um, yeah. Just we wish, wish you all the best. Yeah, absolutely. We wish you lots of luck and be prepared to work harder than you've ever worked before. But it is so much more rewarding than working for someone else. Absolutely. So just, yeah, go for yeah. it. Go yeah, for it's it. It's very exciting. But I know that you've been doing a lot of research and a lot of preparation for this. So, yeah, just hope this this first year is really good for you. Yeah. Oh, so exciting. I, that, that never gets old when somebody takes that leap. That, no. that just gets me excited. Um, Karen says American, Nick. What the this bloke? What is it? Jack, whatever. He's American, do you mean? Anyway, so I reckon <laughs> uh, 20, about 40 quid's worth. And Oh, someone says an American, so Adam says an, an American fitness expert of the 60s <laughs> and 70s. Oh, okay. 60s and 70s. Ooh. We just sold another set of car mats for £40. Oh, are they hubby ones? Yeah. Oh, so nice. We don't even have to ship them out. <laughs> That's great. I can't wait to message the guys at Habu and... and and let them know that well they'll know we're selling well, them i assume will. but yeah we got it yeah. so yeah before i'd even gone through the door i had bought that lot which should be a 40 pound flip hopefully and i've just realized no i don't know if i've got the top is that the top in there is yeah that i it? think it is that careful of... yeah no, i'm not going to stab myself wow no that's not the top oh. what is that then it should have a little bung in it. Otherwise, the, the, when you're juicing, it will come out. Oh, maybe that is it. I think so. Oh, okay. Does it twist? Oh, it twists. And, okay, okay. Hey! So <laughs> anyway. genius. Oh, I'm waffling too much tonight. So hopefully I should get £40 out of that box. I paid a couple of pounds before we went in. I can't remember what else was before we went in. I got a bag of toys yeah at 10 pence each if you watch our vlog about the jumble sale then you're we, just going to get all of this double duck because we did a haul at the end we of it we well. shared some of it didn't we what yeah. are we gonna right i'm just gonna start here this was once we got inside it was Can you scroll down in the chat it was absolute chaos um you felt really overwhelmed didn't you oh it was oh, there were a lot of people saying how claustrophobic it was yes yeah. yeah it was very tightly packed. It was only a small sort of scout hut and there were too many people for it, really. There was just way too many people. The, the sort of the bit you had to move down between the stalls was so small. They had loads of room in the middle, though, didn't they? No. For them. Oh, for them, yeah. Yeah. yeah they were fine. <laughs> they were lounging around and we were like <laughs> hemmed in. Yeah. So I went through the door and I was just like a rabbit in the headlights. There was so much stuff there mm. and... I just didn't know where to start. I grabbed uh, a decent Nerf gun and then went straight for the media because everybody gravitated towards the toys and the bric-a-brac and the media table just looked fairly empty. And I think that was the best decision because I got this lot. Um, I'll whiz through some of the highlights. Don't know if that's any good Windows 7 Home Premium, but you may have seen I did pretty well on some of that stuff recently. I managed to sell the Windows 7 Ultimate for 100 pounds the other day um some bog standard sealed media these came with the full rock band kit which i'll talk about in a sec um boom but for those of you that do follow the tat chat uh the facebook group link below if you're not already a member because we're almost at 2000 members 
that would yeah. be so cool if we can make, get 2,000 yeah, members. Cool. Um, lovely, lovely game. Oh, I did know it was empty. There's a bunch in here that are empty. And I, I pointed that out as I went along and she chucked them in at the end when I paid because I she said, are, are these rubbish then? I said, well, if you don't want them, I'll take them away. Because GameCube cases just on their own are worth money. Uh, they're usually black. So this red, unique Mario Kart one is actually worth some money. So I'll still be able to sell it. Um, got a few cube bits. Those of you that are into your games, you'll know that's a nice find. Pretty much anything Pokemon is a nice find. Unfortunately, no manual has its inserts in lovely condition, though. Not sure what they're at at the moment. 15, maybe. Something like that. Don't quote me. Uh, another GameCube one, but it's a pretty bog standard title. Is there any more cube? Need for Speed, I think. Yeah. Adam Kelsey says, is there a chat chat Facebook group? Ha ha. Yes, Adam. And also, Zaheer has no channel. Have you heard? Has <laughs> <laughs> he? Really? Yeah, it does. Um, I oh. think this is a good title. Uh, it's a little bit water damaged on the front by the look of it. A little bit wavy. Uh, no manual. I haven't had a chance to look that up. I have a memory that that was quite a rare title, Gladius. don't know. If anyone knows, let me know. So, yeah, it was great. I just... It was absolutely manic, and the queue went to the end of the car park and out into the road, and it just filled up instantly, and there was a lot of resellers there. So mm -hmm. with the media, there was no time to think. I just grabbed a pile and did the best I could. This was nice. Comic Strip Presents complete collection. Not sure what they go for now, but you can get good money on that. Sealed Lost won't be worth a great deal. Probably go to Amazon. Sealed girls you remember that then you i don't know i've not seen it but i do have heard of it yeah and yeah it goes on this was a shame nice game not an expensive one i don't think but yeah shame um and yeah it goes on nothing really exciting in there a load of xbox 360 stuff i'll probably bundle um a couple of nice bits of cd like that which is called what was it the elephant vanishes. Looked expensive, so I grabbed it. I don't think it's amazing, but it will probably fetch a ten or something. So that was the media. Oh, before we went in, I grabbed this. And it was, I can't remember, like 10p or 20p. Oh. Duplo. Yeah, I, I love Duplo dogs. I love Duplo. Yeah, Thank you've, you. got, you've got a little Scotty dog. It wasn't built like this. I was going through it last night to check there was no mega blocks in it. Um, little dog Just there. Just fancied having a little play. I, I love playing with Duplo. <laughs> when Ellen had Duplo, I think I played it with it more than she did. So, yeah, always pick up Duplo. Love it. Yeah. Do you want to share something you picked up? Well, all three of them. <laughs> well, well, do I one. Have... Do one. <laughs> no, I was... better pace myself. Yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, I did pick up a few other bits for ourselves. Um, I bought, um, well, you'll see if you watch the vlog whenever it goes up tomorrow, maybe. Um, but anyway. Maybe, if I can get it edited. Uh, oh, quickly, Gary says, Gladius, 10 to 20 pounds used. Okay, probably the lower end for me because I don't have a manual. That's good. And Andy, likes he likes girls. I'm assuming he likes the series <laughs> girls. Maybe both. Uh, thanks, Andy. And Zaheer says... Uh, laugh out loud. So you guys have heard about my other channel. Mm. Yeah, I've been watching here. It's great fun. Yeah. Uh, uh, let me just read a couple more comments. <laughs> Shadow so. Brick starting to sell Lego on eBay, buying lots of auction lots and reselling minifigs individually and in lots. How do I keep track of inventory? Oh, when I mix them all together. Um, it shouldn't matter as long as you're logging how much you're spending on stock um, and then how much is coming in through the business. That should be enough. It is how I do the cash accounting anyway. So you shouldn't have to because it would be impossible. Like you say, if you're taking mini figures out of loads of different lots, lotting them together, there's no way of knowing how much you've ind individually spent on that. Mm. It's impossible. So. Yeah, I wouldn't do it like that. 
Um, anyway, Nick plays with Duplo and his weebles in the bath. Yeah. I was saying, I don't know if you've seen that video I did. You talking made, about made a video of yourself in the bath? No. <laughs> I said in the in the vintage toys video I did the other day that I played with my weebles in the bath. I used to play my weebles in the bath as well. <laughs> Shock horror. We could join forces and, and play with each other's weebles in the bath. I haven't got any weebles anymore. Oh, that's a shame. I used to, I used to really like them because they, they float. <laughs> oh, my God. Andrea's weebles floats. There you go. I didn't know this. Uh, so off again, I've right? gone bright red. So have you. Uh, show, show me tights. Yeah. Show us your tights and then your weebles, all right? I'm we might get again. a lot of views on this one if you if you show us your weebles. I've gone red again. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Back to junk. I flushed. <laughs> even speak i'm crying um vintage dorothy perkins tights <laughs> oh i think we i think there's a clip of this in in the vlog that might make oh, it in okay. how cool are they they've just got like a cocktail glass yeah sort of stuck on diamante type ones on tights yeah they're very they're 80s definitely 80s for the classy so, woman yeah but you know for 20p i thought i'd give it a go yeah it's cool isn't it Look at that it's logo. Look at the Dorothy Perkins logo on there. Look at that. They're very kitsch, I thought. They won't be a big money, but it's just a nice thing. I love things like this because I do most of the packaging. That would just be straight yeah, in straight in a jiffy bag. Straight in a jiffy bag. <laughs> awesome. And then yellow gonna, is... Um, well, well, you've only got oh, three. Do you, sorry, do you want to hold back? <laughs> I forgot about you, that. I got carried away from You'll be that. over in a flash you share all of it. <laughs> Oh, we've got a notification that we're live. Thanks, Google. Oh, yeah. Why am I getting notified that mm. I'm live? Um, okay, so what else should I share? I don't know. It's Can just, you scroll down? Please? There's stuff everywhere. Oh. Sorry. Right. <laughs> 20p, classy woman. Karen says, am I the only one shocked that vintage tights are still in the packaging? No, they never got worn. No, I've still got some. You found I've some still got not those Christian Dior ones listed actually. Keep getting watches, but no sales. So they could have dropped the price on them. But yeah, guitar here. Oh, some... oh, careful. Oh, well, here we go again. <laughs> here we go again. Right, look at the amount of dust. This is why my allergies have gone berserk because of things like this. Yeah. How um, oh. should I put my crash helmet on? Yeah, go get a helmet. Oh, Look at the state of this. You can write your name in here. Anyway, uh, they also uh, um, at this point has just asked me if I've seen Inditrix clown card again. I think I missed that. I haven't seen that. I must have been on Instagram. So here's sold some tights recently. <laughs> um, Is that the pants that you keep going on about? <laughs> Is he going on about his pants? Yeah. Pan pantyhose or something. Oh, pantyhose. Yeah, I do, I, I do remember that. Um, watch your head, said Jason. Yeah, I, I'm on it. Don't worry. Nick, where's your face mask? I, I need a face mask with all this dust, dust mm -hmm. seriously. Um, yeah, I was going to say, they also had like an overspill at the back of the Scout Hut. Mm -hmm. Inside, it was rammed with stuff. It was crazy. It was a really good jumble sale there. There was quality stuff there, at least in the Brick and Black and Toys. And it was fun. It was, there were too many people in a tight space, but it was just fun. I had a whale of a time. And then out the back, there was a little gazebo and there was a load of electronics. And I should have gone there first, maybe. I don't know, it's hard. You can only go to one place at a time. I did well on the media, yeah. but if I'd have gone out the back, I think I'd have got some good stuff. I know Janice got a, a Wii bundle with controllers and all sorts uh, for a fiver. I managed to get a Wii console with some software and no controllers for two pounds, which is still pretty good. But they had this complete rock band kit, which is guitar, software, I'm backing off, <laughs> um, drum kit with the whole stand and everything, um, even the uh, official drumsticks, 
you know, the ones that are branded. Yeah. Uh, dongles, instructions, foot pedal, the works. And they wanted a tenner, and it would have been worth it at that. I think for this bundle, it's been a while, but I think 50, 60 pounds you can still get. This is PS3. Um, but I was more concerned with space because we went in the mini, didn't we? And before we'd all even got through the doors, I'd put a couple of boxes of stuff in. So I kind of talked myself yeah, out of it. And I bought like a, a big wicker um, magazine rack. So that filled up yeah. half of the back of the Your car. wicker addiction is, is get out of hand. Right, mind your head. Oh, I'm getting so hot and sweaty. We don't want to know that. We really here. don't want to know that. Um, but anyway, I, I passed at £10, mainly due to space constraints in the car. It was still there at the end, and I threw them a cheeky offer of a fiver, and they went for it. And I did exactly the same on this next lot. I'm just going to answer a question while you're getting up. Yeah. Uh, the Dublin reseller says, hi, Andrea, I'm thinking of selling clothes. Do you get many returns, complaints from people saying the item didn't fit? How many refunds would you say that you give in... 100 sales um actually i was thinking about this the other can day I, can you move back a little bit and let me just swing my leg in here just recently that i hope i haven't jinxed it but i haven't had a return for a while don't say that <laughs> i've just jinxed it um but yeah i mean no i haven't had that many so i wouldn't worry about it too much it's something you can't really control so you have to just kind of go with it and worry about that if it happens um, but returns is something you have to be prepared for with clothes, no doubt. Yeah. Claire and Leah are, are thinking about moving house because <laughs> they need more storage. <laughs> okay. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? It really is. We're considering moving house so we can have more storage. We had a whole conversation the other day out on a walk about buying a house um, further out into the country with without houses so we could have more storage. It's, I was saying to somebody recently that I, mm. I compared myself to Tom in that Tom has storage. If you're watching Tom, you have plenty of storage and just keep filling it up. It allows you to buy more and more. Mm, and I think I'd be like that. I'm like my dad. I've got to go and uh, put a new, a new shed up for my dad, I think this week sometime happening well carmel but, got a really nice um wicker computer chair for a fiver nick is that scale x trick or tcr i still in that video i did um i don't know if you watched that one yet adam i i didn't know what tcr was it was in the book i was showing this tcr was a, a thing in here and i didn't i don't remember that this is scale x trick and i had scale x trick would have been uh, late 70s, very early 80s. I had a secondhand scale electric. This exact one, well, not this exact one, you know what I mean? This exact type. And Imagine that coming around again. Yeah. Oh, this was mine. This is, how would you know it was yours? Unless you'd written know, on yeah, it. Yeah, it wouldn't, would you? Um, there's so much in here. There's so much track. And they wanted £10 for this, which was a fair price, I think. I haven't sold any of this for so long, so I don't know what the going rate is really. But um, it was a space issue again. But at the end, I I threw out a cheeky offer of a fiver, and they just went for it, didn't they? Yeah. So I was like, oh okay. So we we had to take it out of its box and just squeeze it in the back of the mini. I don't know if there's any footage of that. No, weren't you taking pictures of me or filming yeah, me squeezing this in? Yeah, well, yeah. But it's nice. I mean, I, I don't know if any of you guys have sold any recently, but there must be 50, 60 odd pieces of track. There's some really nice bits, um, like interchange bits, I think. This sort of thing, which may have value on their own. Like I say, it's been years and years since I've had any. I was so excited to see it. There's loads and loads of the little barriers and all sorts. No cars. I don't know if somebody had been and just bought the cars. There's even some really nice bits of official scale strip instructions and stuff. So anyway, yeah, couldn't tell you what that's worth. But for a fiver, hell yeah, I'm going yeah, for that. Absolutely. Um, so that was, no, I have no idea where I'm going to put it. I might try and put it up here. Can you... 
leave that one. Okay. I'll get it out of the way. So, yeah, pleased with that. I was really hoping, kind of in dreamland, after doing that vintage toy stream that I did, that I would find something from that video I did. I didn't quite, but I did get some vintage 1970s scale electric. Um, Shall I show everyone my shorts now? Yeah, go on. <laughs> Nothing really special, just a pair of Marks and Spencers, yellow shorts. There you go. Very um, not um, very unassuming, so not very exciting. Is that it? But yellow is a big colour this season, so um, yeah. So I pick those up. Cool. There's another great big crate like this just here. Do we want to go through that? I yeah. Don't know. Let's let's dip in. Oh, you spotted this. I don't think this is a particularly good one. But oh it's... yeah, I just like the colours really. It's um well actually. I seem to think when I flew Virgin Atlantic in the 90s, yeah, I Atlantic. had one of these. So, I think it's quite vintage, isn't it? Yeah. You had another sale? Yeah, we sold some cycle shorts. Some cycle so, shorts? Yeah, it's yeah. just like a sort of patchwork, like picnic type blanket that you get on the plane. Nothing amazing, but I just like the colours and I thought, well, how much was it? It was like 50p or something? 20p. 20p. But yeah, stuff from um, airplanes like free little gift packs and stuff, there is a collector's market for that. Um, and you can do well. So if you do go on an international flight and you get given a bunch of freebies. I think it really depends on yeah the, the sort of thing it is mm. and how desirable it is as well. I think it's, it's I, the first class stuff. That yeah, goes, it's the it? first class stuff because obviously yeah. people like us don't fly first class. So yeah. you don't get to have that stuff. But also, like, they have um, collaborations with designers and, you know, on some airlines. So that's what makes it collectible. <coughs> right. Do you want to read a bit from the chat? I'm just going to have a drink. Um, so yeah. dusty in here, isn't it? Except, um, well, <laughs> isn't, you haven't exactly given me Dave, much to read from. But, um, Dave says there he's got loads of track. And he hates it. Cars is where the money is. Yeah, there were no cars in there. I was um, just going to say, I don't know if you saw Corinne's posts earlier about um, she's got tons of stuff in her living room now. And she just said that it's it's all listed. So she's just got to find homes for her, I suppose. Yeah. Um, okay. But yeah, we all know what that's like with it <laughs> spilling out into all kinds of places in the house. And Karen Sorry, just says, my, uh, my tap fills half my living room, as you see in my videos, but needs must. But I think if I had a bigger place, I would fill it. Yeah, exactly. So I it. think that's exactly it. Yeah, I think that's a, that's the problem. Now, David McMillan's in the chat. Hi, David. Hi, David. Um, yeah, but we were seriously talking about at some point, not in the near future, but I think it's something that's kind of on the cards for us would be to sell up this place. Um, we are in the fortunate position to own this house outright and Hitchin has seen a crazy price in mm. house price rises, like yeah. beyond what they're worth really, because, um, we're so close to London. People use this as a commuter town now and there's forever people. I mean, we've got neighbors in our street that moved out from London and, and they thought prices here were quite cheap and reasonable. Mm. I chatted to a guy who moved in up the road. He's already sold his house on and moved. Mm. So I think in a few years we will maybe sell up and just get a, a place with land and outbuildings <laughs> and fill them up. <laughs> but who knows? Yeah. It's just a thought at this point. Uh, hi there, Kay. Um, Mir Cameron Ali says, oh, yes, previously I sold Emirates children plush toys. Mm -hmm. They were some monster theme. Oh, OK. Cool. I know there's a collector's market for that. You, you used to be able to buy little replica aeroplane models, didn't you? So if you flew like Pan Am in the 80s or something, you could get a little jumbo jet with Pan Am on it. Yeah. And there's a collector's market for those. So if you see those knocking around at jumbo sales, grab them. Um, right. So uh, what else to get? Oh, I picked a remote 
There's money in remotes, people. It's not new. Yeah, it's nothing new. Everyone's seen this before. This was sat on the table, and weirdly, there was a little tiny portable CRT TV below, which was in a light state. And I picked the remote up, and they went, oh, that goes for that telly. And I said, no, the telly's bush. This is Samsung. I don't think that's going to work. And I'm like, oh, OK, I don't know what that's for then. Uh, and they sold it to me for like, what was it, 20p? 20p, I think, yeah. It's not a good one, unfortunately. I punched the little number in. Most of them have a little um, like part number on somewhere. Punch that into eBay. You can find out quickly. This I'll be lucky to get six pounds out of. But some, particularly for more complicated machines, um, like DVD to V8, VHS combos, like the remotes for those, or some, you know, high-end stereos and Sony ones, you can get 20 odd pounds for a remote quite easily on some stuff. Yeah. So pick them up if you see them. Um, Chelsea asked, would we be still in hearts if we moved? Um, I think no, because it's just so expensive. Depends so, what we can find. I don't know. Maybe just slightly further north. Bedfordshire, maybe. Yeah. We won't want if we do move, we won't want to go far from family. We we spend a lot of time with our family and they're all around us here. So if we do move, it won't be far. I wouldn't have thought. No, it won't be far. And it's only a thought at this point, guys, and it and it's at least two years away because Ellen is studying at the girls' school to do her A levels, and we are five minutes from her school. So <laughs> it makes sense to stay for at least another two years. I took a punt on a few things because prices were brilliant. They really were. They they wanted stuff gone, didn't they? Um so I I've not really sold these on eBay before. But at 50 pence each, and one of them has two in. Yeah, well that's new. And that's, they're new. Um, still yeah. sealed and it's got all its wrapping on and stuff. These are badminton rackets. Yeah. Although you reckon Ellen might want them. Well, I don't know where she'd play. She plays at school. I don't know where she'd play at home. Still got the cellophane on the handle. There's a pair of these plus some shuttlecocks. Unless, you know. And the Wilson bag. Unless you joined a badminton club or something. Yeah. Um, I did a very brief bit of research last night on my phone. I don't think these are expensive to buy new, so there's not a lot of value in it. No. But from 50p. Shame, though, really. From 50p, pretty much worth doing, I think. And this, it looked really expensive, but I don't think it is. It's a graphite Wilson again, but this is a squash racket. This one has been used. You can see there's a slight bit of wear on the handle. Um, certain squash rackets from the very brief bit of research I did can be worth good money, but I don't think this is a higher higher end one. It's even got a ball in there. Um, but yeah, there'll be some profit in it from 50p, but not a home run at all. And then there's a pretty bog standard one in here. I don't think it's great. It's a... Andy Robinson says, stay yeah, away from Bedfordshire, please, guys. Being a reseller here is difficult enough. With that. Uh, mm. <laughs> well, we venture into Bedfordshire quite a lot as it is, mate. So <laughs> Bedfordshire... Being we're... a reseller anywhere is difficult. You've just got to make it work, haven't you? Really? We're very North Hearts. We're virtually in Bedfordshire here. In fact, the jumble yeah. we went to was beds, wasn't it? It was. Uh, I go to at least one boot sale, if not two, that are in beds. So, yeah, we're on your patch already. Sorry. Or you're on ours. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's nothing else really exciting. A couple more things I took a chance on just because they were cheap and it was the sort of thing that's going to force me to do a bit of research and hopefully learn something new. I went on these. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm denied on those and they even put them down a couple of times, didn't they? Yeah. Um, I paid a pound. Um they don't look used. They're still bound up as I believe they would have been when they were sold. They look like they're African carved salad serving wooden utensils yeah. and the bowl to go with them. No maker's name on, on it as most hand carved stuff in Africa wouldn't have, I guess. Um, no idea if it was worth my pound investment, but it's going to force me to spend a bit of time looking it up and hopefully find out a few things that I didn't know. That was the sole objective, really, when I bought this. 
Yeah. If it's worthless, we'll just keep it. Yeah, it's quite a nice thing, to it's be a, fair. It's a very practical, very nicely made thing. So worst case scenario, I'll find out some stuff about carved utensils and um, then keep it if it's worthless. So there was that. Were you going to say something from the chat there? No. No. That <laughs> wasn't the intention. Hi, Sue. How are you doing? Okay. Nice bit of treen, says Gary. The other thing I took a chance on was this. Towards the end, I'd seen it a couple of times. I've seen this at car boot sale, this stuff and never, for whatever reason, taken a chance before. I think it's kind of a bit past its sell-by date, this stuff. It was big maybe five, ten years ago. It's hex bug. They are little vibrating bugs that take a battery, and then they whiz around little courses. It's a bit like, oh, oh crap. Oh, the bugs escaped. Oh. I'll get it in a minute. Yeah. Um, it's a bit like... The furry ones, the what are they called? The little pet hamster pets. Um, oh, um, yeah, um, yeah. Those those things. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know the the hamster pet things. What are they <laughs> called? Oh, spitting at the camera. What, what are they called? Things? Damn it! Yeah. Oh, there's one. <laughs> why? Why can't I remember? I used to sell loads of these. Um, the Zuzu pets. Zuzu. It's a bit like Zuzus, but with bugs. I've got one of the bigger bugs here. Look at that. That's quite epic. And a bunch of track. Um, and the reason I picked it up was because it was still there at the end. And I think I paid 50 pence for the whole box. There's a load of the track, a load of bugs. Uh, and it is going to force me to find out, out about it. I've no idea if it's worth picking up. Don't go out there and pick it up just because I did. Heather says that she sold a load of hex bug stuff last year because her son had, had done with it. Um, okay, money, but not brilliant. Okay. Worth 50p then, Heather, maybe. Um, but I like to do that. When stuff is cheap and you see it there, it forces me to research it, find out there might be certain bugs that are still collected, or it might be something that's worth going on if you get a big job lot. Who knows? So that was a tiny experiment. Well, Karen's thinking of going live tomorrow afternoon with a clothes haul. Yeah, that'd be quite cool. Cool. Well, uh, I've not really been on the ball with work for the last couple of weeks because Ellen's been on holiday, but um, yeah. We haven't done a lot this week, have we? I need to really get back into and get organised tomorrow. It's been Easter, so we did a lot of family stuff, yeah. and then we've had Ellen at home. She's been really ill. Hasn't She's she? very She's still sick. not well. So, no, she's got. Okay. We reckon it's a virus, isn't it? She's I think it's a virus, which is why I haven't taken her to the doctor. But it's been a week now. It's literally the day after she got really cold in the queue at the um, concert last Sunday, and um, just yeah, just been very ill since. Although um, she scientifically tells us that it's not because she got cold. <laughs> I think it is because you can't catch a, a cold from being cold, apparently. <laughs> Yeah. Um, okay. Um, Graham says, "What what percentage of your working day do you spend researching, Nick? <sighs> or what percentage of my working day do I spend researching, Nick? <laughs> oh, do you spend researching me? <laughs> I don't know, Graham. I I tend to um, research as I go. I when I'm listing an item, I will I will go in and check." completed and solds and kind of do my research as I go I don't know what I don't know <laughs> you do loads of research don't you I you, do. you go OTT you go crazy yeah. you're on Google I, and... I like to learn about stuff though as I'm going so. yeah no, that's fair enough um a couple of little bits quickly before I forget don't think there's much money in these this is an official Sony PS3 headset wireless Bluetooth one it does have its charger lead somewhere in one of these crates uh, I gave them a pound, I think, for that. Don't I haven't sold one of these for ages. Back in the day, they were good money. We used to sell those in the shop. When we yeah, had our gaming shop, did. we'd sell them new for like 30, mm. 20. Can't remember. 
We used to have a we used to get third party ones in as well and sold loads and loads of them because they were cheap. Anyway, um, got some Epsom ink. This is the multi pack uh, Epsom 26. Somebody has taken the black out and just left the blue, yellow, and magenta. Yeah, Claire says it's true. You can't you can't get um, ill from a from being cold. You need germs to be ill. And what Ellen said is that it lowers your immune system. And so she was probably yeah. fighting something anyway, and then it just came out all blast. <laughs> when you get tired or stressed, or but she's been stressed because she's got her GCSEs coming up. And, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I think she just literally went on holiday, relaxed, got <coughs> cold, which didn't help, and then it's just bitter. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to quickly say, just because one of these is incomplete, that there, there can still be value in it. The black has gone, but it's still a tricolour set. Um, and I did briefly look it up. I think about fifteen pounds. I'll still get back on that. Um, Ten to fifteen, anyway. Fifteen top end. So they're still worth going for. There's loads of junk still. This was nice. Right. I think the last little circuit we did. Um, my sister was there as well. Hi, Alison. If you're watching, um, she found a load of gear. I don't know what she was buying. She bought loads of books. Yeah, well, that's her specialist area. Isn't I, it? I resisted mm. going big on books. I still bought probably twenty or thirty books. Oh, one is really cool. Oh, well, I don't know where I put it. Adam says um, everyone that's done a live today has picked up some ink. <laughs> <laughs> ink is great. I love selling it. Yeah. Um, yeah, Alison bought loads of books. Um, I bought a few books, and on the last lap, just as we went and found Alison, said we're going home. See you later. This was still sat on the table at the end. Now, those gamers out there will know what this is. If I show you the connector, it's a little DS. I think it's DS Lite. Yeah, DS Lite. Uh, and there'll still be a market for these because it's the official Nintendo one. Always worth picking up. I may well just save it because quite often when you pick up a console, it won't have a lead. Uh, I mean, a charger. And it's nice to get the official one to go with it. So. Mm -hmm. And I can't remember. Just what gotta I put it somewhere where you're gonna remember you put it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that was like 20p again or something like that. Um no, yeah, books. There was one here, it is. This was nice. I I resisted going big on books. I nearly bought another big set of books, didn't I? That would have weighed about 10 kilos for the set. By that point, we had rammed the mini to the point where we could barely shut it yeah so i had to leave that behind um this was nice so this is a warhammer novel this is uh what's her name genevieve the vampire um i did briefly look it up i think anywhere between 10 and 20 pounds this goes for used um i don't know if it's the same with all the warhammer novels it might just be that this one was a limited run or something um but they're worth looking into uh and if they're cheap picking them up i think that was 15p no, it's 15p or so, I don't know. It was a weird pricing system at that point on books. Um, I bought a bunch of other stuff, but nothing exciting. I bought loads of about 10, I think, or maybe more of these Weiss and Hickman um, like fantasy novels. Yeah, they've done um, really well on. <laughs> <laughs> a bit dusty. Um, yeah, yeah, you've done really well on sci-fi books in the past, haven't you? Yeah, sci-fi and fantasy, if you get yeah. a bundle of them, most aren't worth any money on their own unless you've got a, an early first edition, in which case you can get some good money individually. I tend to only buy these if they're an instant bundle, um, um, which is what I did there. Yeah. Hi, Quillen. Thank you for um, stepping in last week. It was, it was really good to actually see you in, yeah. in person. That um, was an unexpected pleasure yeah, last week. It was, um, I was like... I've been replaced by Quillen. What's this about? <laughs> yeah, so but, yes, how you. was the show? He um, it was awesome. It was really, well, both shows. I went to see Fallout Boy on Saturday and Dodie on Sunday. And they were both incredible. Yeah. Yeah, probably Fallout Boy for me was the, the better one, definitely. And we had really, really, well, I was going to say seats where we weren't sitting. We had a really good view because they had like um, a catwalk that went right from the stage at the front all the way back 
right to the back of the thing. So they were sort of walking up and down the catwalk. So we sort of positioned ourselves about halfway um, along on the side of the catwalk. So we were really, really close whenever they came close. And then they had these hi two hydraulic stages um, that they used um, for a couple of songs. And that was awesome. Yeah, they weren't strapped in or anything. It went right up because we were in the O2. And if you've ever seen that, it goes up like four yeah. tiers or something. Yeah, and they're the one of the stages with the um, lead singer and, and Pete Wentz on it. It went right up to the top and they weren't wow. strapped in. And he was like right on the edge playing his guitar. God, I'd have been... The, oh, the O2 in, in London is um, what was called the Millennium Dome, Quillian. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's a massive like canvas covered almost like a tent massive dome thing yeah and it's huge and we've been to a comedy gig there and we were right up in the gods yeah, we went to see russell brand yeah and we, he was like a dot on the stage <laughs> yeah. and and the seating goes almost <laughs> vertical at we that were literally point. on the top row weren't we yeah and uh, we were with friends and one of our friends said oh we're going up high i hope we're not going to be too high i'm afraid of heights <laughs> And we just because we bought tickets for our friends to go and see this gig, yeah. and then Ruth, the uh, wife of one of my best friends, she goes, "Oh, I really don't like heights." And we're thinking, "I think we're at the top." <laughs> we just keep going. We hiked up to the top, didn't we? Yeah. Oh, but that but was what I was thinking was they would have had an epic view across to the elevated stage. Oh, they would have done. Yeah, it would have been incredible if you're right at the back, uh, right at the top. That you'd they'd have been here in front of you. Awesome. So, yeah, it was incredible. Um, Jake asked a quick question. Nick, do DVDs go well on eBay? Yes, but most will be worth next to nothing. Mm. Um, this there's, there, there's exceptions to most things. Uh, that's quite good. I haven't sold it for a long time. I, I don't know what it's worth right now, uh, but that's Comic Strip Presents. You're best to look them up before you buy them. Either scan them into Amazon or scan them into eBay and, and find out, really, because most DVDs have lost... Pretty much all their value um that sounds fabulous andrea says heather yeah it was right oh um what I happened it jumped well, oh no it has do you, now do you want me to go back yes because i wanted to read out no down oh down oh. um chris said i used to work as an entertainer at the millennium dome love the place chris which tap, tap the time oh really mm. i had no idea Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Oh, we just had a super chat from, yeah, from Donna. Donna Tully. Oh, thank you, Donna. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Appreciate that. No comment to read out with it. No, but but no. thank you for the super thank chat. Thank you for the support. Really love that. Um, I don't know what else. There's quite a lot of stuff. Um, I got kind of junk drunk. Have any of you ever been junk drunk where you just keep buying when really there's nothing much left of any consequence and you just keep buying? I totally got into that headspace and took a punt on this. I haven't looked it up. It's so 80s. Look at the design. This is a Coleman flask. Um, Coleman are a great um, brand, but I don't know if this has much value. You can see the Coleman logo on the top there. Um, um, on. Credit said, what sports teams play at the O2? They don't really. It's an arena, so they don't really. I think they do special one-off things there. Yeah, but nothing. This not a home for anybody. Yeah, it's not a home stadium for yeah. a team. No, it's uh, mainly a concert venue. Yeah. Ellen's school did a show there actually, and Ellen sang in a show at the O2. Do you remember? Yeah, that was cool. Did. That was really cool. Um, and Wes says, "Will Andrea be doing her photography video soon?" Well, yes, I will. But I've, as I said, I've really not been in work headspace the last couple of weeks, so. Um, I've been doing stuff with Ellen and chilling out a bit. Uh, Chris Tat on the Tine says, I made front page of the Daily Dome newspaper. I had no idea that had its own I newspaper. Didn't know that either. I'll send That's you a really pic cool. on Messenger. Yeah, please do. Yeah. Wow, was that a long time ago then, Chris? Wow, that that's cool. Yeah, awesome. Uh, BC, the Millennium Dome. I almost forgot it was called that. Yeah, I regret not going when they had it set up as the, it was a huge exhibition under that massive canopy. My mum went and she loved it, uh, but I, I never went up and I kind of regret that. Um, Gemma Mill says, any more jumble trails coming up? Yeah, there's one in a couple of weeks, actually, that we're going to go to. Yeah, so. we love those. 
Um, oh, John Atali says, I wanted to say a big thanks to you and all resellers who put themselves out there. I worked from home for a few years. Now blogging was always something missing. Now reselling and thoroughly enjoying it. That's really cool, Donna. Yeah, thanks wow. for that message. Thank you. Um, we're just glad people get something out of this. We enjoy doing it. If yeah. people gain something from this, then it, it makes it all worthwhile. That's what we always say. Um, there's no basketball or hockey. No. They, they might do one-off matches, but it's not really it's a sports regular. event. It's no. more of a music event place, yeah. certainly these days. Um, I don't know what else I've got to show, really sort of bog standard toys and games peter says you need more spanners i'm obviously missing that peter you must be doing an amazing job are we getting trolls <laughs> i don't know i've not seen anything come in we need more spanners anyone wants to be a spanner put your hand up <laughs> put your hand up now um there's nothing really exciting to share um we didn't really get any home runs it was just a fun fun jumble for me it was yeah. chaos and it was full on claustrophobic. It was. It made me feel a bit weird. But it was it was just fun. Um these I bought before I went in. Who remembers? Oh, Karen says so she doesn't mind being a spanner. Um let me spanner you up. How do I do that again? <laughs> I don't know. Don't, do you right I click on think yeah, I go it. in here, press that, do that. Yeah. That worked. I want to be a spanner. Oh, everyone wants to be a spanner now. Give me a spanner. I want. Oh my goodness! <laughs> right, hold on. One at a time. One at a time. Hold on. Karen, oh. right? Karen, add blitz. Add. Everyone's going to be a spanner at this. Mir Kamenali, spanner, please. <laughs> um, Sib K, maybe. I don't know. Did you say one? Oh, oh Let me just read uh, that comment from Donna quickly. If I feel less motivated, I just pop on one of your videos and my mojo is back. Last week, I sold a 99p charity shop pickup for £29. It was a Peter Rabbit silver plated baby cutlery oh, wow, set. Oh, that's nice. Wow, yeah, nice Peter sale. Peter Rabbit's really sort of trendy at the moment because of the film. Oh, there is a new Peter Rabbit film. I don't like the look of that, though. No, I don't really mm. either. I have to say. <laughs> if anyone's seen it, let, let us know if it's any good. I was born a spanner, says Graham. I'll make you. I'll make you a spanner as well. Gary, then. Gary as well. Yeah. I'm happy to be. I'll help you. Hey, this is fun. No, that was bum crack picker, wasn't it? Yeah, but he said I'll help oh, if you okay. want. There you go. Span Sip -sip span it up. They want to be one. <laughs> okay. Yay! I feel special. <laughs> Right. Um, who remembers these? Sorry if we've missed anybody and you. Um, oh, Sue says, can I be a screwdriver? <laughs> there aren't options, Sue. You can't pick yeah. a tool. Sorry if we've missed anybody there. Right, who knows what these are? Mad. I don't know if this is in America. This might be um, might mean nothing to you Americans. Bob the Builder. Is it Bob, Bob the Builder? Yeah. Oh, did someone say that? No. Oh, you just that was the question I was putting into the chat. I'm sorry. <laughs> You get the point. High five. I got, got, got. <laughs> me, me. Do you want a spanner? You're called I Troll Trolls. Well, yeah, it's, all, it's perfect. You need then, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob the Builder. Bob, see, everyone knows. Yeah, Bob the Builder. I think they've redone it, haven't they? Haven't they redone the show? Oh, it's not the same. Same it's as Postman Pat not and Simon Sam aren't the same. Oh. Like I said, before we went into this jumble sale, they had. Um, this overflow bit out the front we were queuing up from the door and either side of the door there were these tables just covered in junk and they just kept bringing stuff out somebody brought out this bag and they said 10 pence an item i've got a couple of nerf guns at 10p each um i can't reach them there's a couple in here uh super soaker Oh, actually, this yeah, might have been. It still had water in it. Yeah, it? <laughs> it's had water in it. Super soakers can be great. The big ones could go for stupid money. Don't pass those by. Um, and a couple of Nerf. And then all of these at 10p each. I don't think these are particularly valuable anymore. But as a bundle, 
I guarantee they will fly out. Um, I couldn't find no, any of the little figures. you don't figures. get paid, I troll trolls. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, the, just, it's just the glory of being a, a spanner. The spanners have been put to good use already there, look. So, yeah, I was quite pleased. Look, can you hold my um, vehicle? One of them. I have no idea the names of these. Don't ask me. Oh, Ben really wants to be a spanner. Ben wants to. Okay, hold on. Oh, and some Nerf glasses. Hold on, let me look like Bono. <laughs> I, I literally cannot see a thing now. <laughs> Hang on, I need my proper glasses on to see what I look like. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're not quite getting the effect. <laughs> yeah, Nerf glasses. Um, Why am I modelling a, a truck? I don't know. I just grabbed this because I actually, in, in the moment, I just thought it was one of those snakes. You remember the snake from the uh, Rubik's snake thing? But it's not. It's just cheapy thing. So, yeah, that was cool. More Nerf, all that sort of stuff. Right, you're you going to have to go back to Ben. Ben? That one? Yeah. Right, I've spanned you up. Sounds wrong. Oh, spanner me, spanner me, spanner me, says Adrian. Hold on. The power's going to go to their heads, you know, these, these spanners. <laughs> when you leant back, I could just imagine your chair flipping back made me giggle. It nearly did, actually. He's, he's done that before, not here, but he, yeah. He did that in a restaurant where you were just swinging back on a chair and then you I fell back. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we were we were in a pub restaurant. I think we were when we went away with the family, the extended family, and we were in quite a busy pub. I think we were waiting for our food to come, and I was doing that thing that school teachers tell you not to do, like rocking on the back of the chair, and I just went, and everyone found it highly amusing. Yes, it was. Oh, I was more concerned you had you damaged yourself. You know, you could have hurt yourself. No sense, no feeling. This is cool. This is a hail fire. Um, you put the little magazines in here. It didn't come with any magazines. Um, and then it rotates and you... It's turned on. It's an electric one, as you can hear. And, yeah, that was the first thing I bought when I got through the doors. Um, I think that was a pound, maybe? Yeah. Uh, grab that um, off. Gavin Dossage and see earlier says, What's the stack of pepper pig products? Oh, they I bought them in a supermarket, they were on a really good clearance deal. They're just pepper pig houses and a figure. Um, and we've all seen this before. What is it? <laughs> it's a Wii. I love this console. We both loved this when we first had our Wii back in this was released pop fact or trivia fact on my birthday in 2006 december the 8th um and it was the year we bought this house yeah anyway i paid two pounds for a wii console all the leads but no controllers and it had some software which included wii sports I'm now holding a nerf gun yeah i'll um, model that one too and wii sports itself is worth picking up <laughs> still goes for i don't know seven or eight pounds i think you can get so yeah all sorts of goodies that was one of the nerf guns i got for 10 pence while we were outside charlotte says why did i find that so funny talking about you falling off your chair i'm probably laughing it's not you it's just the thought of it i hope you were okay though he was okay i was fine yeah just bruised pride <laughs> I don't care. I, I, I'm quite happy to make people laugh. <laughs> right. Um, we'll probably wrap this up shortly because we've gone 10 minutes past the hour. Fritz says, tonight I learned that I need at least a blue Ikea bag when thrifting. They're so handy. They're great. They're really good. Yeah. You can get so much in an Ikea bag. Right. Who is a child of the 70s here? I paid 10p. Really just for the memories, there's not a lot of value in these. How cool were Top Trump's cards? I had loads of these back in the day. Um, Stephen Bennett says, 
question. When is it a good idea to hit Toys R Us in, um, in the closing down south? We're not sure, know. really. We've been in there a couple of times, not been very impressed. So. It, I've spoken to a few guys. Um, some people have been buying loads already. Some people have bought nothing. We bought nothing. Yeah, Tom's been doing really Tom, well. <laughs> I think, has bought a fair bit. Um, the, the stock that's available uh, in store to store is varying no end from what I hear. So I don't know. You're just going to have to check in daily. I don't know when the discounts are going to jump. Nobody does. Thanks, Karen. I'm, I'm auditioning for a, a modeling job. <laughs> yeah. Graham Nichols, um, top trumps were gold. I'm filling up here. They were cool, weren't they? Angie Robertson says, question, will you be vlogging the Disney trip in a similar style to Ben's trip, but maybe at a more sedate pace? Well, we'll definitely be vlogging it. I don't know if it'll be similar to Ben's. Our, our vlogs um, will be nowhere near as slick and professional and fun as Ben's. <laughs> <laughs> Ours will be heel style. But yeah, we'll cobbled together. We'll definitely be vlogging it. So yeah. If if not, if for the only reason that we'll be able to look back on it. Yeah. That's one of the beauties that, you know, we didn't really think about when we started doing this channel was the fact that we've now got nearly four years of of us waffling about what we're up to that we can look back on. So yeah, it's gonna be exactly. good to make yeah. a record. But yeah, we will try if we can, because we're there for 10 days, we'll try and do a live stream or two. If we've got good Wi-Fi in the hotel. Yeah, that really depends because we thought we'd do that in Tenerife and it didn't happen. Oh, the so. hotel Wi-Fi was bad in Tenerife. The hotel was fan fantastic, but the Wi-Fi was poor. Okay. Hi, Pixie Dust Gaming. Um, right. Well, Gemma Mills said, not going to say the company, but when the place I worked for went into liquidation, we were told to chuck stock in the skip. <laughs> Such a waste. Yeah, that is wasteful. Um, Karen's going off to get the kids to bed. So, bye, Karen. Thanks for dropping in. Oh, dust has just got in my throat. It's, going and to it's nearly quarter past nine, so we probably ought to start wrapping it up. We will wrap this up. <coughs> oh there was quite a lot of other bits. My my allergies are just kicking in. Um, I hope that was interesting. Um. We had a really fun day yesterday. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> I'm trying not to. I um, oh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the vlog of the day. Yeah. My nose has gone red. <laughs> um, I'll try and get that edited and up tomorrow. It might be Tuesday. I don't know. Tat Chat is on Tuesday, actually. I think we're back on my channel, aren't we? Yes, I think you are because... Um... So here, I actually had to do it all by himself. Yeah, oh, I completely <laughs> forgot what day it was. Because we thought it was Monday and we just, we were out strolling away and then yeah. you looked at your phone and went, it's Tuesday. <laughs> and actually you'd spoken to Zahir before and then not seen his reply. And he said, there's no way you're going to get back in time. <laughs> yeah, I was chatting to Zahir <laughs> and I said, we're going to do our 12 mile walk. Um, and we went and he yeah. replied and said, there's no way you're going to be back in time for the tat chat. But I... Yeah, I didn't look at Messenger point. when we left. And then I rang him up and I said, you know what, mate? We've I've We've just started forgotten. this walk. It was Tuesday. Yeah. So yeah. I haven't oh. I haven't missed many Tuesdays in the last yeah. however long it's been, a couple of years. So we've done pretty well. Okay, we're gonna leave you there. We do have another long walk tomorrow, don't we? Oh wow, well, depends when it stops raining, really. If it's not raining, we've got like a 14 I know, mile. We're, we're fair weather walkers, really. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it rains on the day, I'd just rather train when it's dry because <laughs> there's yeah. nothing more miserable than walking for three hours in the rain. Sod so, that. Yeah. It's it's tough enough when you get past the kind of 10 mile mark, let alone being yeah, wet is. and soggy and horrible. No, that's yeah. not happening. Really now is. we said that, you know, we're going to go out and it'll be bright and sunny and then it'll rain all over us just because we've said we hate the rain. <laughs> Yeah, probably will. Anyway, we will leave you lovely people there. Thank you so much for your continued support with the channel. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoy this, and we'll we'll be back soon with more videos. Yeah, have a great week, everyone. Take care. Bye. Bye.